feeling real good. Um, there's definitely a different type of energy inside of the gym, um, including uh, just the new guys that have arrived that haven't been here in the last two years. They bring in a lot of energy. and um, The guys that return also are still super excited about this year's season um, and how last year went. And going forward, everybody's excited. And the intensity of the practices have been super high. Um, the competitiveness and trying to get better day in and day out have been amazing. We got the personnel to be um, more full court than what I've done previously with Sydney. Um, so this year with, with Quat, Scott and Taj virtually in our starting group, there's no reason why we can't get up the floor and attack more and be more aggressive. Now that also requires us to be smarter on the back line with Zim, Nate and Keanu. Um, and Juki as well, who's been elite, I think, out of everybody so far. Because if we're playing aggressive, there's got to be a point where we play conservative. And so you can't go complete kamikaze and then give up an uncontested layup. And so it's trying to find that balance where let's pick up full court, let's try and get our defense to generate some offense, let's, let's look to push the pace. Everybody is excited to play defense and start running again. Um, and our first year here, we were the number one defensive team in the league, and we made sure we got stops and got out to run. Um, so you speak to guys like Zim and Taj, those guys like love to play defense. Um, and if we could get the whole group to like enjoy it as much as they enjoy it, then we get to run out and be able to have fun playing the game of basketball and not have it to be half court all the time. I want us to get down floor fast, but if we don't get anything off that initial six to eight seconds, well then we're not quickly putting up a shot in that middle eight seconds, right? I want us to get through the offense. I want to make the defense have to defend and let's see what the back end of it looks like. I guess a lot of people sleep on his IQ level. Um, he understands the game very, very well. He comes off and knows how to use a ball screen, knows when to cut properly if a man's not watching him. From asking a few of the contacts that we knew with Matt Nelson, who's obviously with the Spurs now, um, Will Weaver, who I worked with in Sydney, who's with Houston, um, and even chatting with some G League coaches, with Damien Cotter, and, and asking the general consensus of going, hey, if I wanted to find a dude who we could say is the Damien Martin-esque basketball player we're looking for, um, you know, who should I be looking at? And while each coach sort of came back with two or three names, the consistent name in every single one of those like lists was Taj. Besides being a dog on the defensive end, on uh, offense, he also attacks the basket really hard. He could jump a little bit, but he doesn't want everybody to know that so he could dunk on somebody. And then we got another ball handler that could create. But what was really cool was talking to him on the phone and it was instantaneous that he was our guy. The, the, the conversation was about culture, the conversations about getting involved in the community, the conversations about his excitement to explore a, a new city and a new country. Um, and so knowing that, hey, if we wanted to build a team on values that resemble a family, you're not just coming in here to collect the paycheck and be gone. Like, we want you part of this. That he can attack and make sure that somebody else gets a good shot or he'll get to the basket and either get fouled or score on someone. He's a competitor first and foremost. He's going to be ready to play. Uh, he's taking his time right now as far as coming out of quarantine and getting his legs under him. We almost lost him to a rival NBL club and then we sort of came back into the picture again. But, you know, what I really like about Zim is you look at everywhere he's been, um, his production per possession and per minute is consistently high. And when you broke it down with his last season in the Czech Republic, again, they played the Euro League, but he won, again, another guy who won a domestic championship for his club. He's second in Europe for um, his defensive rating. Uh, amazing, right? Amazing because not only does he believe in my talent, but he allows me to be here and stay here. I'm, I'm really appreciative of Ken Frost Holmes and everything that they've done for me. So it's been amazing. But the support and the backing comes from a real, genuine place of love and support. So it's not Ken Frost Holmes demanding, hey, like, here's our money, we're expecting next results. It's like, no, we invest in here. We, we believe in you guys and we're backing you guys, whether it's winning or losing. I've been a pro for 10 years now and I still have the same goals. I wanted to come here and win a championship and I have yet to, to get one of those as a pro. Um, and I think that's 
for me, that's most important right now, so. We've been on court training since August, and I know the guys are chomping at the bit. Um, this is it, I think everybody does this because we want to play games. We want to play in front of a crowd. Uh, we want to go up against the best competition. So, um, there's no word to describe it other than being super excited and, and, and ready to go.